state of Indiana is mourning the loss of a distinguished leader. Indiana's 48th governor, Joe Kernan, passed away early this morning. The New York Times is reporting tonight that Kernan's family says that he died after complications of coronavirus. CBS 4 correspondent Bob Montgomery takes a look back at the life and legacy of Joe Kernan. He was instrumental in getting the College Football Hall of Fame to move to South Bend, kept minor league baseball afloat in South Bend when there was a chance the team would leave, and was a powerful behind-the-scenes voice in South Bend Democratic politics for decades. Kernan's name became known much earlier in life when he was a rising baseball star at St. Joseph's High School. That talent took him to the University of Notre Dame, where he played for the Irish and graduated in 1968. One of the most notable events of his life, though, came shortly thereafter. He joined the Navy a year later, became a flight officer, and was deployed to the Vietnam War. February 1972, Joe Kernan's jet was shot down, and he became a prisoner of war for nearly a year. We got hit, the nose pitched down violently. I got on the radio and I said, Flare 4 has been hit. And the only person that heard me say that was me. The radios were out, and uh, I made the decision to jump out of the airplane. Kernan survived that captivity and decades later eventually made his way back to Vietnam to see the place that he had only seen from inside a cell looking out. What's it like for you to see this? Well, I mean, I, I never imagined I'd be back here, uh, but it's, uh, it's the right spot. I mean, it all feels right and the map, uh, everything looks like it did 38 years ago. Um, no doubt in your mind, really. No doubt in my mind. After his release and returning stateside, Kernan worked in the private sector, even for the South Bend schools, before entering his public service in government. It started as the comptroller of the city of South Bend, then a successful three-term run as mayor. I loved the job because I never imagined that I would be mayor of my city. It gives you the opportunity to be able to do things that really matter in people's lives every day. At the time he left office in South Bend as mayor, he was the city's longest-serving mayor. Kernan's political star grew even further in 1996 when he was elected Lieutenant Governor of Indiana with Frank O'Bannon. Kernan then became Indiana's 48th governor on O'Bannon's passing in September of 2003. Originally announcing he wasn't going to run for governor, he then entered the race that led to the only significant political loss of his career, losing the race for governor on his own right in 2004. Joe Kernan's time serving his community did not end, however, when he moved back to South Bend in 2005. He and a group ultimately bought the South Bend Silverhawks to keep the team from leaving town. I wanted us to have minor league ball, knowing what it means to the people that live here and the people that uh, are going to live here. Uh, it's an attraction. It's, a, uh, it's an, an element and I think an important one of quality of life. He was successful in holding the South Bend team here in town until the current South Bend Cubs owner, Andrew Berlin, stepped in. Joe Kernan remained a man who was very involved in his city, mostly behind the scenes, until time and his health silenced the voice that shaped so many, not in his hometown, but in the town he called home. Joe Kernan was a two-time Purple Heart recipient, awarded the Navy's Distinguished Flying Cross, and led a political career few attain. He was a lover of baseball, an avid golfer, and an even more avid husband to his wife Maggie, who survives him. Indiana Governor and South Bend Mayor Joe Kernan, dead at the age of 74. Right now, Kernan's family is finalizing plans for his funeral and burial. However, at this point, there are no plans for a public memorial. Again, that's because of COVID-19 restrictions. Reaction is pouring in from across the state on Joe Kernan's passing. Governor Holcomb ordered flags lowered to half staff at the state until August 5th. Before his coronavirus briefing, he referred to Kernan as a bona fide American hero, decorated Navy officer, and truly selfless statement statesman who always placed the interests of his fellow Hoosiers first, a sentiment echoed by many others. He was a, a person who brought people together and did not seek to divide them one against another. Mayor Hogs had also refused, referred to Kernan as a hero in many different ways. Chairman of the Indiana Democratic Party and former Kernan staff, uh, Joe Zodi, John Zodi called the late governor a genuine public servant who understood better than many what service meant. He went on to say that there are uh, countless Hoosiers who benefited from everything Kernan contributed to us in his life, which 
has been cut too short. We have much more reaction to the passing of Governor Joe Kernan online. You can find them in this story at CBS4Indy.com. Yeah,